what I'm saying. We are at Egmont Key today in uh, like past the Grill Beach, St. Pete area. We took a ferry over. We've got two giant buckets. We've actually already been shelling for a while. <laughs> but we thought we would record a little bit to show you guys what is on this island. So let's go. They're like fossilized cannonballs. Yeah. So this beach has a ton of fossils on it, um, a lot of rocks, not so much on this part where we're walking, but back where we kind of came from, but there's still plenty right here. So there is an old fort here, and we'll show you guys that in a little bit. The shelling is pretty good here. It's supposed to be shark here too. Yeah. We found two shark teeth so far. Yep. Here's a Florida spiny cockle, full of sand. We'll just rinse that off later. Here are a little, got some shoes and sand. Ooh. Pretty. That's a pretty colored olive. Mm -hmm. on the beach and see what we can find. A nice uh, Florida spiny jewel box. And on the inside is, other than sand, it got this beautiful yellow pink color. It's really pretty. What do you have there? Well, I guess this could technically be Hagstone, but mm -hmm. just kind of a neat little. I have like a fossilized rock and then it turned into a hagstone. Uh -huh. You're gonna have good luck today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My first one. I need a single barnacle. One single little barnacle. One little fella right there. <laughs> just one. And here on the beach, there are so many of these. Look at these clams. So some are large, some are big. Both are about this size. Oh yeah, see, this is this must be like the shell of the island. Yeah. Which we love because we don't get these where we're from. There's a whole family of them. Oh, a whole family. Look, and there's another one. Yeah, there's actually two of these. There's one over by you too. And they're both broken though. Yeah. Oops. No, well, that was chipped anyway. There's jingle shell, translucent jingle shell. Yeah, I found quite a few of those. Oh yeah, a black jingle shell. Lots of jingles. I found a couple of them. Here's a talon. Sometimes these are purple. The purple ones are more rare to find. So Egmont Key is at the mouth of Tampa Bay on Florida's west coast and this island lies as an unusual island. There's tons of history here and it dates all the way back to the early 1700s. Oh, what did you find? Oh, it's a keeper. Oh, little baby Scala. Tiny little fella. And 
I'm actually right down here at my feet. I've got a little sea earth here. Very tiny. Oh, whoa. A fossilized oyster. Mm -hmm. That baby's old. Yeah. Look at those holes that were just drilled into them. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's a good find. Yeah. I just found a piece of coral right by my toes. And there are tons of these. Yeah, the fossilized coral. I mean, fossilized oyster. Here's a yellow translucent jingle shell. I like those. Those are pretty. Put those in the bucket. Here's an auger. Another single barnacle. It's a, a small one. A little cluster of coral. And on the west coast, the um, barnacles love to hitch a ride on shells. And a lot of coral grows on shells as well. Right here, you have another. This has a hole in it, but actually that's like in a perfect spot for a hole. If you ever want to string it up. Oh, look at this. I'm like in a little hole here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, look at my spot. hand. Yeah. Oh, wow. What do you have? Well, I already showed you that. So I've got this guy. Oh, yeah. Which we found quite a few of these here. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, just a piece of it. I yeah. guess a zigzag. Oyster of some sort. Rock. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and just another oyster. Cool. I like this. These are really big, big fossil oysters. Yeah, they are. Cool, let's, let's keep these. Oh my gosh, look at this. into that. Here's a slipper snail, a white slipper snail. I'm actually going to put that one in my fanny pack for... This guy's cracked, but this little nutmeg. Oh, nutmeg. Here's our friend. There's three of us today. His name is Gull. Gull. <laughs> or <Very> Gold. <laughs> He's been eating the whole time. This is a little spot. Look, here's more of those uh, snails. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here's a broken one, a broken one. This one. Broken. Oh, here's a tiny little. Oh, my goodness. It? it is so tiny. Oh my gosh. Is that an auger? I think so. <laughs> it's so small. You can it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, here's another small one. Oh, I can't even let go of my... Here it is. <laughs> it's so small it like clings to my fingers. <laughs> yeah, this is like the tiny... I'm not really quite sure what these are. Oh, this is a ram, a, um, it's like a cyclo or a ram's horn. More like a ram's horn. Oh, this is a good find. Wow, I've only found one of these ever. Mine was brown. I found like two months ago over on the east coast of Florida. Worm snail, but it got 
broken in half. All these little pieces. And our bucket was sitting on a nutmeg that's actually broken. So this bucket. A piece of coral, that funny pattern, and a piece of moss. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Another shell with some coral growth on it. Carnitas. We've got plenty of those, so we are going to leave those here. <laughs> um, and almost made it. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a whole one. Here's a dove snail. End of one. Here's a slipper snail. There's kind of like cockroaches on the sea. Another yellow. Yellow jingle shell. Let's see here. Some rocks. Here's a little bit of coral. Clam. Another auger. Here's a cone. Oh, yeah. This little section has a lot of Little oh yeah, there you go. You found another ram's horn and a dove snail. Really pretty. Beautiful scallop. Mm -hmm. This is a good section for minis. There's a piece of coral. Yep. Yep. Here's a yep. auger or something. Oh, yeah. There's one. Yeah, this little section is... It's power packed with minis. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. Uh, I can't think. Speak them Razor Clan? Right, yep. Or um, a stuffed Haglius. Oh. Same family. Nice calico scallop. Here's a green, look, a green slipper snail. These are usually green? white. Eh? I've never seen a green one. It must be covered in algae. Let's go put these in our bucket. In our bucket. Here's some old. It's so funny. Oh, wow. There's two more. Oh. All over the place. All over the place. This is a really good um, place to go shelling at. Oh, I thought I saw a nutmeg like rolling around. <laughs> oh my gosh, you keep finding these ram's horns. Dove. Oh, look at this. That's crazy. There are like little rock snails everywhere. Another one. You want to see what I just found? Look at swirly curly oh, right here. What is that? I don't even know what that is. I'm not sure. Oh! <laughs> well then, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's a phenomenal piece of coral. I'm putting these little guys in my fanny pack. And safety. Jingle, oyster, cosplay, 
cross barred clam. A little mini guy right there. Barnacle, that's good. Clam. I like these. This is a little chip that we're gonna leave it. A little piece of a sponge. I'm sorry, not a sponge, it's um hummus. Another white slipper snail. I love to collect minis with holes in them. I don't know why. I don't do a single thing with them. <laughs> but I collect them. houses and stuff. They're all over the place. Another stout. Ooh, scallop. Auger. <laughs> yeah, oh I already put this up. But here's another worm colony. Barnacle. Broken sand dollar. Crossbar cardita. And a crossbar clam. Look at the coral. A broken yet. Broken slipper snail. Uh, kitten's paw. Look at that. This looks like a kitten's paw, right? With yeah. With an oyster on, too. One of the two. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. They just, like, latch onto each other. Mm -hmm. You can really see it from that angle. Keep that. That's a cool one. Oh, ah, you oh. saw it, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a, uh, let me flip you over. It's a bubble shell. A baby, baby, baby. baby
built in Scala. Oh, nice. A ponderous arc. Look at that. Um, I didn't clean it off. That is so neat. It's a hagstone, but it's like a this funky color to it. Polish, yeah. That's a, Ooh, a, a puffy uh, kitten's paw. Yeah, really puffy. Super puff. <laughs> and actually... I saw you <laughs> I know. Hold on. Hold on, guys. <laughs> We're going for a run. Where is it? Where is it? I just saw it. There's another one right here. What? What do you think? Oh, An right otter. There. Oh, right there. <laughs> he was showing me them and I'm like, whoa, I see four. I see four. <laughs> Here's a, a colorful jewel box. There are just so many of these little minis here. I know. It's like a little mini beach. Mm -hmm. Fossil Beach min Minis. <laughs> yeah, we went from Fossil Beach to Mini Beach. Yeah. I wonder if the angle of the island changed the center. Oh, I bet but it did. You can see the Minis coming all the way up the beach here. Right? Yeah. Right over there, there were no Minis. They were yeah. all huge. Only big They're shells. Big shells. Rocks, mostly. You can see some of the rocks in the water still, but not here at the end. Yeah. Ooh, a nice chunk of coral. Yeah, nice Where? Oh, that's awesome. Where are me pirate ships at? <laughs> Hello, friends. <laughs> I feel like they know a bunch. Taglius. Don't pop your top. <laughs> this is just like a funny little piece. Auger. Here's an urchin that cracked. A mini Florida spiny toolbox. Love those. <laughs> it's funny how all those shelves are so tiny and now. Yeah, I mean they're larger. A lot of like fossil colon or worm colonies. A little, a little um, a schnibble of coral. <laughs> Just a schnibble of all you get. Oh, a nice smooth. Oh, this is funky looking. What's this? Oh, what is this? Looks like. Oh, yeah. It's like a broken piece of agate. No, it has a sheen. Seriously, it has a sheen to it. It's something. I don't know. I've never seen anything like that before mm -hmm. on a beach. No. Yeah. I found another weird rock, too. This little guy. Hey, it's a weird rock. Yeah. That's a weird rock. Like this, it looks like it's split a little bit. Yeah, that's, like, I, I, I want to take a hammer and split this open. There's probably nothing in it, but it's still <laughs> interesting. Put in the bucket. Put in the bucket. <laughs> and of course, when we were off camera, we found um, two horse conks, a 
I'm not gonna be able to find them now, of course, but like two horse conks, all these little baby cones, like all the cool stuff as soon as I, you know, like we took a break. <laughs> so I think when we get back home, we'll like spread it all out to show you guys. <laughs> That's how it always works though, right? The Florida worm snail ones have points on them. Oh. And here's another purple taglius. Coral. 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 <laughs> purple stout. And da -da -da, murex. <laughs> Rock snail. Oh no, I lost it. Auger. I don't even know that's what I dropped. Rock snail. these big ones on the east coast at all. Oh wow, yeah. Oh, there's treasure in here. <laughs> Fossilized rock. Coral. Coral. So there's more there's more coral over here on the side of the island. Took us off. off. I'm still taking it. This one's pretty. What do you have? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen one of those. This is like a cross between like coral and fossilized wood and. Yeah. Something in there. There is something in there. Like an old barnacle? Yeah, it looks like 
more tomorrow or something. I think it's a couple of shells. Another bad one. Mmm. <laughs> I'm striking out. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like a piece of a clam. <laughs> <laughs> He says, ouch. Oh my God, I thought this was a connected quay hog at first. It's oh, just like. Know, it's pretty neat. It's like a softball. It, it, it's weird. It's kind of slimy actually, but it's a rock. You it was slimy? It is slimy. I'm not. <laughs> it kind of leaves a texture on your hand. Not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. They just go for a lot of knowledge. Here comes a big wave. Oh, okay. Well, that one's cool. Yeah, it's just got some holes in it. There. There's a little sandbar out here. Holy moly! What? Oh. <laughs> you think we should make him? Oh, that one got me. Oh, it's actually like a giant hug, though. Oh, wait. Is it? Yes. It's a hack stone. Okay, well that's awesome. We are. What do you have? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, you got I have my shoes on. Just a rock. Just a rock. I don't know what it is. It's very light. It's like sandstone or something. We had a little like sea lens we could see in there. Yeah, I think there's <laughs> gotta be some stuff in there. This is a fossilized clam. It's still shut. Look, I found a fossilized clam. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. We'll take that. We'll take that home and try to break it. I doubt there's calcite inside it, but I don't know. Oh, and I just saw a cone. Hold on. Well, here's coral. I swear I just saw a cone. Oh, Lord. Well, here's a hack stone. A coral. Whoa, it's like an ironized kitten paw. Here's another chunky. What the heck? Well, that's cool. Two chunkers. I better put this stuff in the, in the, um, in my little bin here, running out of hands. What this it is? <laughs> and I found it. Look, another chunky. What are the chances? It's like one of my favorite shells. Oh, look at this. One, two, three. Is there any more? Three. And three, three, three. Is there another one? 
No, but we've got this awesome hagstone. Oh, yep, here we go. It's a little broken. A connected kitten paw. Okay, look at this. There's no live flesh inside. I don't know if my, there we go. It's connected, it's cracked open. Nobody's home, so we're gonna take it. Down here, auger. I mean, just like this little stuff, I could, I could literally sit here. Oh my gosh, look at this olive. I could just sit down with a cool drink, like a Miami Vice or something, and just pick through the small stuff for hours. So down there was kind of like a party spot. Whew, I got a little dizzy, I was sitting up too fast. All right, we gotta head back to the boat. So we're gonna start walking and we are gonna pass by the fort and stuff and some other historical monuments. What we'll point are those here? Let's get cool looking. I'll also tell you a little bit about the history of the island and why it's named Egmont Key. Okay. Are you stuck? No, he's not stuck. He's just not moving because you're right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so we are leaving Egmont Key. We've got our two buckets full of shells. Jose, this was a successful trip. So as promised, I am going to give you a little bit of the history about the island. And it's pretty cool. So, this island was first charted by Spanish explorers in the early 1500s. The footsteps of notable historical figures would mark the island's sands in the centuries. Rich in history, home to endangered wildlife and unique in its geological formation, Egmont Key now struggles to survive the eroding forces of nature and the contemporary tides of politics. Mm -hmm. Accessible only by boat, Egmont Key has a unique natural and cultural history as well as a place to relax and collect shells along the secluded, pristine beaches. I think these are the old gun batteries that are about. This is the old uh, Fort Dade, right? It's the guardhouse and gun batteries. <laughs> In eighteen forty eight, a lighthouse was completed on Egmont Key to safely guide ships en route to Tampa. The island was tragic was a tragic and brief home to Seminole Indians defeated in war. Both Confederate and Union soldiers occupied the island in America's Civil War. Fort Dade was, was constructed to defend Tampa Bay from invasion during the Spanish-American War. Over 70 buildings were built between 1898 and 1961, turning the island into a small city complete with a hospital, school, theater, post office, sewer, electric, and telephone service. Today, only finally laid brick roads, the gun batteries, and dozens of cracked building formations remain. Yeah, they're really nice to what you see at the foundation. Mm-hmm. In the road. Every 15 seconds, the lighthouse illuminates an island of historical significance. Go for tortoises, tortoises, Watch quietly as you pass. Seabirds cry from their nearby nesting areas. Walking these eerie byways. Ooh, speaking of eerie. <laughs> you wonder where those footsteps in history you are following. Then you realize you are somewhere special, somewhere worth saving. 
Egmont Key is also a national wildlife refuge, protecting populations of gopher tortoises. There's a lot of turtles here. Yeah, there are. <laughs> Box turtles and several species of nesting birds, such as royal and least terns, brown pelicans, ibis, and laughing gulls. The nesting area is located on the south end of the island that is off limits to visitors. So right up here, we are about to come to the lighthouse and also the docking point where the um, ferry um, hopefully, not hopefully has not left us. <laughs> We are the last to arrive and last to leave. <laughs> so you can also become a member to help support and preserve this state park. So you can go on their website and check out. Uh, oh. Beach. Oh, the beach? Yeah. Uh, isn't there like a fort around here? It's back there. Yeah, oh, it's back let's there. keep you going just straight. Head straight on this path. Thanks. Yeah, you'll see it. All right, and there's the lighthouse. So this was not the first lighthouse built. This is a rebuild. The first one constructed was, um, I believe in the 1700s, I'm, now I'm going off memory, and then the, um, what was it called, the Gale? Oh, there's a hurricane. There was a hurricane called, um, it's called, it's, uh, the Gale of something, I can't think of it off the top of my mind right now, but basically, the lighthouse keeper got in his rowboat, his little tugboat, um, roped himself around a palmetto and rode out the hurricane like that. After the storm passed, he rode to the nearest fort and he resigned. <laughs> He's like, I'm done, I quit. <laughs> oh, and there's the old light right there. And I don't use boat or anybody. <laughs> and old uh, railroad car. Old railroad car. And these areas that are marked off are for, are for turtles, where their nests are, so you don't disturb them. So they have it very nicely laid out. All the grass is cut. Okay. <laughs> and we are the last boat of the day, so. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful trip today. And we are going to show you later our finds, which I can't wait to see ourselves what we found. But my tongue is wet. Ecstasy, she's on me.